So typically after you have a C-section, your hospital stay may be longer compared to someone who has a vaginal birth. You may stay two, three, and some, for some individuals they stay even four nights. Um, you will have more discomfort um, because you did have a major abdominal surgery, but you'll have medications on board to help deal with that. So typically you'll have a narcotic, something like maybe Percocet or Tylenol with codeine to help deal with that pain in addition to like ibuprofen or Motrin as well. Your, your nurses and your providers are gonna really encourage you to get up and start moving. We get you moving really fast. So typically the day after your C-section, you're already up walking because we know if you get up moving, the sooner the better, you're gonna have better outcomes and have less complications in that postpartum period. So typically the day of the C-section, you will not have any regular food, but you may have some clear liquids. And it's also typical for some women to throw up because of the, the medications that are given during the, during the C-section. Se the second day after the C-section is usually when you're able to start eating regular food. Your, your Foley catheter, which is that tube in your bladder which drains all the urine out of your body, that usually comes out the second day, but it does stay in usually the night, after, the night into the next day following your C-section. You will have a bandage um, on your abdomen and typically staples or suture depending on the type of material that your provider chooses to use. If you have staples, those usually come out that day when you are discharged to home. Um, and steri, a little steri strip, which are little strips of material, um, are put on your incision, and those usually come off at about two weeks. After the C-section, we recommend no driving and no heavy lifting. So the heaviest item you should be lifting is your baby during your recovery. You should also be careful um, with the narcotics because narcotics like Percocet and Tylenol with coating can make you very drowsy. So it's typically not safe for you to drive because of the pain medication. Um, and you also want to be careful when you're feeding your baby at night that you don't doze off um, because you are so tired just from being a new mom, but also because of the, the narcotics and the pain medication that you're taking. Your recovery is typically a little bit slower after having a C-section. It does really take that six week period that we really want you to take it easy. So we would recommend no exercising, um, you know, really up until that six week mark. And it's always good to check with your provider to see how you are progressing, um, if you're progressing that normal recovery period to see when it is okay to change your normal daily routine. It's, it's normal that sometimes after you ha give birth, C-section or a vaginal that your uterus still contracts to try to get back to its normal size. For some women this is not very uncomfortable and for other women it's very, uncom very uncomfortable and they almost feel like they're in labor again. And so there are medications to deal with it and some of the best medications are ibuprofen or Motrin. So after you have a C-section, you'll need typically more help when you get home just because you are limited on what you can do around the home. Um, so it's good to organize help from family members, maybe your partner, um, just to try to get more help at home so that you're not lifting things, you're not vacuuming, you know, you're not um, doing a lot of work around the home, that you're really giving your body that time to heal.